the current organization that I don't have going on. Usually that happens. I forgot that I had it. I don't think I'll ever wear this again. Oh, like I actually am gonna start crying right now. Like there's not an occasion that I would wear this for. And I've worn, it felt so wrong. I genuinely cannot contain my excitement for this video. It has been so long since I have done a massive closet clean out. I actually filmed the last one that I did. I think it was almost a year and a half or two years ago now. I mean, I do regularly go through some of my clothes and I don't know, like put some into my basically like Depop room, which is my brother's old room. <laughs> like all my clothes are just in there, but it's been a while since I've really, really gone through even pieces that I like in my wardrobe and just ask myself, do I need this, okay? The motivation for doing this right now, in the midst of me literally getting ready to leave for Europe for four months, um, like, I don't know, I have so much going on right now. It just feels like there's never a good time to do this, but it just needs to happen because I'm doing a pop-up on June 25th. So I literally need to go through my clothes and figure out what I'm gonna sell because it's kind of a perfect opportunity to get rid of some clothes that I don't need anymore. Also, because I'm gonna be packing for a four month trip, I really want to make it easier for myself to pack and just go through clothes that I actually wear versus all shit in my wardrobe that I don't wear. I'm just in such a mood to do this. Like there's nothing else I wanna do today other than clean my closet. Like I am not even lying. So we're gonna get into it. I have my closet behind me, which is so disorganized. And then my dresser, which has like, it's breaking, okay? The drawers are breaking. <laughs> Basically, the only thing I have planned for this is this laundry bin, which I'm gonna be putting the clothes that I know I wanna sell at the pop-up in. And then I'm gonna have another pile of just like clothes that I'm gonna donate. So basically, this is gonna be a figure it out as we go. I'm really excited to bring you guys along for this journey. It's gonna be a journey for sure. But I think we're gonna start by opening my closet and sharing with you the current organization that I don't have going on. Usually that happens when I open my closet. Like I, like, oh my God, bro. The amount of hoodies that I have is so concerning. I have everything from hoodies that I would never wear out of the house that are just like really comfy. Like I edit in this hoodie. This is my editing hoodie. This black Stussy hoodie, I think I'm honestly gonna get rid of because just one of those that I've had for so long and it doesn't feel right when I, <sighs> wait, is that true? I honestly told myself before starting this video that I was gonna get rid of this, but this will go in the maybe pile because honestly, it's just so big. The only time I ever wear this is over a skirt if I'm actually like styling it. And I never gravitate towards it for being comfy because I feel like it always has like, fuzz on it like it gets really like I don't want to say dusty but like you know it just attracts dust so I never feel clean when I'm wearing this that's how my like those are the connections that we're going to be drawing in this video so you know what I think this is gonna is it gonna be the first item going in the laundry basket like it might be honestly I want to take a minute to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. It feels like BetterHelp is the most fitting sponsor for this closet clean out because my space has the biggest impact on my mental health. And the fact that cleaning out my closet is this long overdue, like I'm ready to feel reborn once it's done. Okay, but if you aren't familiar with BetterHelp, it's the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network of over 30,000 experienced and licensed therapists to help you with a range of issues. To get started, you just answer a couple questions about your needs and preferences for therapy. So BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist and you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable. So whether that's over the phone, via text, video chat. You can message your therapist at any time and then schedule live sessions for whenever it's convenient for you. If you don't feel like your therapist is the right fit, not the match for you, you can switch therapists at any time and there's no additional charge. With BetterHelp, you get the exact same professionalism that you would expect from in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom picked for you with flexibility in scheduling and at a more affordable price. If you wanna try out BetterHelp, I'm gonna leave a link below to get 10% off your first month. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. We're gonna get back into cleaning my closet. This is the 
current state, okay? Up there, we don't even know what's actually up there. I think it might be hoodies. <laughs> and like, just recently a lot of stuff has been thrown up there. Okay, and then this has a lot of my hoodies and track jackets hanging on it. Most of them I'm wearing currently. Most is the keyword there, not all. And then we bring it down. I don't even know what is going on down here. This is a shoe rack, okay? At least it started as a shoe rack. And now we have books in there. This pile is all relatively new. This is what we're working with. I think we're gonna start with the closet. And up here, this is like the epitome of things I really don't need, okay? Um, the first thing that I am so excited to take off this shelf and get rid of immediately are these Levi jeans. I've been waiting for this moment. Like I've literally been waiting to film this video just to pull these jeans down. The moment these are out of my house, I will feel reborn. I'm not kidding. You've never in your life seen a more high-waisted pair of jeans than these. Like, I don't even, like, I don't know. I mean, obviously I had my high-waisted phase, but we are so far gone from that. Like, we've been gone from that, and somehow these have stayed in my wardrobe. But yeah, those are the first thing that I just, like, need out. The other thing that I really want to challenge myself to do is get rid of things that I haven't worn in over two years. These are amazing, these XOXO pants. They have this embossed writing all over them that says kiss, haughty, sexy, glamour. And then they have these huge slits on the side, but they just don't fit me right. They're a little bit too big and I never put these on and feel good. I've tried so many times, it's just never happened. They're so good, but honestly, somebody needs to wear these, you know what I mean? Because by sitting in my closet, they're not, having their moment. Everything, everything. I'm definitely gonna sell these at the pop-up. These purple cargo pants are just not for me anymore. I had my moment with these. I would wear them with my juicy hooded little moment. Like this is so good together, but I just, like I would just be reverting to such an old version of myself if I wore this. And also don't take any of this as me being like, oh my God, I would never repeat my outfit. I wear a uniform. I literally wear the same thing every day. That is why I'm doing this. But when I say like old version of myself, I mean, I wore this three years ago. So it would just feel really weird. It'd feel like a costume if I put this on again, just because it's like, okay, I know I can do better. I've already had that moment, okay? And I don't even, I don't feel any connection to these pants. I thrifted these so long ago before I even made come thrift with me and I know somebody will love these. So these are gonna go into the pop-up bin. Wait, this is amazing. I didn't think I would have already three things ready to go. I've never worn this, but I'm, like, I'm not ready to let it go, even though I don't think I'll ever wear it. It looks like Barney, to be honest. The color is just a lot, so I've never worn it. I think this sweater from Gap is really cute, but I never wear it because whenever I want this color, I wear my green juicy one, you know? And this is way more my style than this. This just sits a little bit weird. When it's done up, it kind of points down. It's like such a minimal issue, but because of that, I don't wear this. So you already know. This is going in the pop-up bin. Yay, I'm so excited. I feel like it's also worth mentioning that I also have a green Adidas track jacket. So I really, do not need that one. The only reason I allowed myself to buy this, which I just got in one of my recent Come Thrift With Me's, this perfect EDC brown sweater, is because I told myself I was gonna sell it at the pop-up because I just don't need this. It is really cute, but if I'm being honest, oh my God, fuck, I'm putting it on. I already think it's so comfortable. Wait, <laughs> Never mind. I think I need to have a moment with this first. It's a little bit more cropped than I would want. I don't know, we'll see. This is like, no, I need this. I actually do need to keep this, unfortunately. Um, I really thought, so that's fine. Oh, this is sad. I got this off of ThreadUp. Before I ever did any sort of collaboration with them, I ordered this. And it's from Arizona Jeans originally. It's just too small for me. And I've definitely gotten my wear out of it. I don't think I would ever wear this again. If I'm being honest, like, when am I wearing this? I brought this with me to Copenhagen and I never wore it, which says a lot because I was there for a lot of months. And then since coming back, I've never worn it. 
I thrifted this in Copenhagen. I've never once worn this and I thrifted it in probably February last year. So I'm getting rid of it. The fit is just not great. You know, like what? Why is this in my closet? Other than the color, I would never reach for this. Just the fit of it is not what I want. I'm not opposed to this like safari vibe. It just, I would want shorter sleeves and it to be like sexy. <laughs> Thank you, next, it's going in the pop-up bin. This is something I thrifted and I've worn one time and it was not memorable, let me just tell you that. You know what, I actually was gonna wear this um, one night done up with one button. If I had no boobs, I would wear this and I would wear it with no bra under and I would just do it up one button and then have it like open with pants. A bra under, it just ruins it. Unless I just had a nude bra let on. That could be cute. Like this with a pair of linen white shorts and a nude bralette, damn. Okay, this is gonna have to stay. I'm gonna give myself this summer with this top because it's really small, it hardly takes up any room. And then if I don't wear it, it's going on my Depop. Okay, honestly, I don't think it'd be that relevant to bring a vest to this pop-up because it's in June, but I can definitely get rid of this vest because it's a little bit too tight for me. It's by Jacob. I thrifted it, I think last year. Okay, definitely this blue Adidas sweater. I think this is sick, but I've had this for so many years and I got it from the black market in Toronto for $10. So this I'm definitely gonna bring to the pop-up with me. I just saw this skirt in my closet and I'm actually in disbelief. I just don't wear this and my mom actually gave me this skirt like many years ago and I've featured it in a lookbook. Oh my god, I'm not even gonna go there, but a long time ago. And it has definitely done its time in my wardrobe. I think I only wore it in the lookbook. So I don't even know if I'm gonna bring this to the pop-up, but it's regardless leaving my closet. I have my prom dress back here. My prom dress was such a sleigh. I can't even lie, it was like really hot. I have this blue kilt. I don't think I'll ever wear this again. And I feel like I need to put into perspective, okay, if I'm gonna move, like just for example, say that I moved to London, um, am I bringing this skirt? I'm like, shit, maybe, maybe if I go to London, I will. But the actual skirts that I wear are in my dresser. And I have about four, maybe. So if I got rid of this, then I could get a low rise black kilt, you know? Like, I just don't think this is like me anymore. I've definitely styled this a couple times while I've had it, but I haven't even worn it that much. So I think I'm gonna bring it to the pop up. Like, I would love to replace this skirt with a colorful skirt. Okay, the black was a bad example. Um, that's low waisted because this is just like a high waisted kilt. So just like based on the fit alone, I don't really feel comfortable wearing it. I would only wear it with a longer top. So it kind of limits the styling possibilities and the wearability of it. So we're gonna add this to the pile of clothes for Depop. Back here, prom dress, this really cute pink dress that I wore on my birthday. I'll insert a photo actually. My mom got it for me. I thrifted this Kenzo sweater so many years ago. I'm never gonna get rid of it because I literally thrifted a Kenzo sweater. Like, are you kidding me? Both of these, like, maybe I don't need, let's pull this out. On this hanger, I have two distressed sweaters. This one, I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of because it's just so, oh, like I'm actually gonna start crying right now. Like the amount of experiences that have been in this sweater is crazy. Like this sweater is just so symbolic to me for so many reasons. And the fact that every time I wore it, it got more and more distressed and these holes just got like, it's like hardly wearable at this point. I love it. I actually love it so much and I would never get rid of this. This is like for me, my entire exchange experience is wrapped up in this pre-exchange, like so many good memories. And then I have this thrifted, literally like bootleg version that I definitely didn't need to buy. I've just never reached for that, obviously. But no, I actually think that you could style it up. I just don't, because I've had the other one to wear, which is way better. It's kind of itchy, to be honest. I would add more distressing to it if I were to wear it and probably like cut it, because I don't like how it has a band at the bottom. 
but it's a really whatever piece. I'm not like, oh my God, I need to keep this. Something like these two pieces also hold so many memories for me. And I've worn hundreds of times, both of these. I'm not even kidding, like especially this one. And I feel like they still can have like one more year in my wardrobe and then I'll be really just like, okay, it's a little bit past its time for me now, but they can stay in my wardrobe. I'll just kind of move them towards the back. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like I have to get rid of this. This DKNY silk top that I got when I did a video with Thread Up, and I love it. Like, I wish it fit me, but it's too small everywhere. Like, the back is too small like that, and then it doesn't do up in a way that's flattering. Like, the buttons just go all weird. There's no point in having it in my wardrobe. I think I have to accept sometimes that having something in a box under my bed that's cute but not my size does nothing for me, you know? Like, I don't need that. I wanna move on to some of my hoodies. I keep most of the ones that I am reaching for on the back of my closet door here. Not that it's actually possible to reach for all the ones that are here and all the ones that have fallen off. Okay, let's start with this. This is my friend Amuna's hoodie. I just borrowed it from her when I was going home, so I'm gonna put that aside. <laughs> I'm like, into the Depop pile, I'm just kidding. I got this Italy hoodie when I was in Italy last summer and I love it and I'm never getting rid of it. There's definitely some hoodies in here that are ready to get out of here. Like this, for example. Oh, but it's so sad. Like this for me, I haven't worn this in so long. I wore this on my birthday two years ago during COVID. It's from the brand Benetton and it's this purple sparkly hoodie. It's honestly too cropped. I would not wear it. I've worn it. This can go to my pop-up. Just again thinking like if I move somewhere, I'm not gonna pack this. You know, like it's just not happening. It's mostly because of the fit, honestly. This Fila hoodie I thrifted. I didn't even show it in a video. It was like a late night thrift. I'm trying to like show it without putting it on. It's not great. Like I wouldn't keep this because I have the Italy one, but it's such a different vibe for when I wear this, like this is like a lounge hoodie for home that I'm gonna keep. Obviously my Billabong hoodie is staying put. This hoodie, I don't know. Technically I don't wear this. This is from Jacob. It's like a lime green contrast stitching moment. See, like everything is just a little bit cropped on me. And it's fine if it's below my belly button, like this is okay, but I just ate it, like, I don't know. This is a maybe, because honestly, it's like, if I were to just get rid of all these clothes and have three hoodies on here, do you know how much easier it would be to know which ones I need to add into my wardrobe? Okay, this is gonna be in the maybe pile. I really think I need to get rid of this I Heart New York hoodie because I thrifted it and it's the same issue as the Stussy one where it feels very dusty. It did come cracked like this, I don't even mind that. Just like can't even recall the last time that I wore this at all. Maybe I could choose between this or the Stussy hoodie. This is like a very extreme closet clean out because it's so long overdue. Like most of these clothes that I'm getting rid of, I thrifted like five years ago. This has been in my wardrobe. So it's not like I buy all of this stuff like you see in my videos and then I get rid of it the next week. You know, like I thrifted this five years ago. It's been worn. And the only reason that I'm getting rid of them is because I'm gonna be selling them or redonating them, but I would never throw away any clothes. I just don't wanna promote like, oh my God, buy everything and then get rid of all of it. Like, you know, I only buy things if I love them and I've loved 99% of these pieces. Important to mention that because yeah, cleaning your closet out feels great, but you also have to recognize that not all the clothes that you're gonna donate get bought and then where do they go, you know? Just because it's out of your room doesn't mean it's necessarily helping anybody else. So this Racer Worldwide hoodie, to be honest, I wore so much in Copenhagen and it's just so heavy that I don't really see myself wearing it anymore. I'm gonna put it in the maybe. It's so, so heavy. This Dusty hoodie is staying. I got this from Urban Outfitters so many years ago and just like a cozy at home hoodie. The texture of this one is honestly different than the black one. It's so smooth and doesn't get any like dust on it. <laughs> doesn't get pilly at all. The only thing that I'm really like, Amanda, do you need that? Is this blazer, which I got actually from a friend's vintage sale so long ago. This was also featured in an OG lookbook. Don't feel connected to this at all. Actually, I'm totally getting rid of it. I, I wore the fuck out of that blazer and I had shorts that basically matched the houndstooth print 
perfectly and I would wear that like my uniform I'm not even kidding I thrifted this with an intention of bringing it to school as my like laptop bag and I've never done that maybe I bring it to the pop-up and then this Urban Outfitters bag I would do like a cross moment like this the knot is really lame on this like it's such a voluminous bag and then it's just like weighed down by this tiny knot okay this hat I really need to get rid of it's too small for me like actually like yeah okay this didn't even get a moment this year because I forgot that I had it because it was buried in my clothes this is staying in the wardrobe a lot of the reason that I'm getting rid of stuff is sizing you know like and also because I know how crazy I am with comfortability, like I won't wear something if it's even the slightest bit uncomfortable. Unfortunately, I really wish I wasn't like that. I can't actually think of an occasion that I would choose to wear this. I'm not even gonna lie. Like I used to wear this to school with jeans, you know, have a little study moment. The back has green on it, I think. But there's not an occasion that I would wear this for. Like going shopping, going thrifting, no. Studying, no, because it's like kind of tight. Uh, it's not too tight. I don't know, it's just like, when am I wearing this? I think I could choose between the pink one and the navy one. Not all of this will even sell at the pop-up, so it's worth just seeing what it does and then reevaluating. But then I also have this navy one, which is Juicy Couture Black Label, so I don't even know what that means. Like in my eyes, it's just not really real juicy, but I tried this on the other night. This one's more comfortable. I also love the bejeweled zipper. I don't know. I think that I have to keep this one for sure. If I'm choosing between the two, I'm probably going to choose the navy one. Because I would wear this with... Yeah, I would totally still wear this with my white juicy pants that I have, actually. So maybe I do the pink one for the pop-up. That's, like, a really hard decision for me. It's not easy. Okay, like, I don't want to get rid of that. But I don't know. Like, am I somebody who collects juicy? Do I keep it? I don't know. Or I choose between the green and pink because these are a similar vibe. I'd wear them for the same thing, which is nothing. So maybe I have to, together they look so cute. Honestly, I have this Racer Worldwide mesh top, which I've worn one time. I don't know. I wore it in Copenhagen once for like a fancier dinner, but I've never reached for it but also it's like at the top of my closet so I barely even know I have it you know this is the current state um <laughs> the way that I'm not doing this organized at all like I really tried with the bin this is literally not for the bin this is a Muna's but I feel like I should get all the clothes out that I want to get rid of and then I can fold let's move down to the rack on the bottom okay so down here it's honestly really really disorganized and like believe it or not everything is in a pile so a lot of these things at the bottom don't fit me anymore and then it kind of goes up to newer things that I've gotten. This is all track pants, yoga pants, sweatpants, all that. This bag is all bikinis and it's full of bikinis and I honestly love all my bikinis so we're not even going to tap into that today. And then I have some jeans back here which I definitely can get rid of some that don't fit me. One of my recent come thrift with me is I got these capris. I have a ton of silver jeans that I just don't grab for. I got this from Jaded London and I've never worn it. It's too cropped for me. I'm not keeping this. I just got this, so I'm keeping this sweater. Oh, this is a piece that I have never worn. BCBG sweater and it has this huge collar. I think I'll give myself another moment with that because it's kind of like a fall piece. And then same with this. These jeans are done. They're basically skinny jeans on me now. The back is really cute. I used to wear these all the time. These are my everyday jeans, but they're just not as flared as I need them to be now. Gonna keep these, gonna keep these. This is like running stuff thrown in here. I'm keeping this black kilt for the time being because I don't have a better alternative. I'm looking for one that is low rise on me. I know kilts aren't like low rise naturally, but I want one that's a bit bigger. This is just not it. I know I thrifted this kind of recently, but I can acknowledge that I'm not gonna wear it. The color is just, it's too dusty pink. I put it on one day and it felt so wrong and I didn't end up wearing it. So I'm gonna bring this to the pop-up actually. More running stuff actually. Oh, I was looking for this top. This Lululemon like top, whatever. These Truies are the same level of 
connection as I have with the distressed gray sweater. I've had these forever and I don't think I can ever get rid of them even when they don't fit me. They're a men's style and they're a size 28. I've gotten a lot of questions about these jeans actually. Yeah, these are very, like these are me in a jean, you know? So these are staying. I just got these Parasuco jeans. They have these really sick zippers and they're super, super flared. I haven't even worn these yet, so these are definitely staying. I wore this like once. It's this black knit tank top. I have to try it on to see if it's too tight for me. This is really uncomfortable for me here, and it's a little bit more cropped. I wore this on my birthday two years ago with my fake Burberry coat, low key, like covering, and it was cute but this is done, it doesn't fit me anymore. These gray jeans I thrifted in Barcelona and I wore them a couple times when I was in Copenhagen, but the crotch is just really loose and like baggy, it's not flattering, but the wash is amazing and they're really flared. The person that had these previously actually even hemmed them, so they're longer than this if you want them to be. So I'm definitely gonna bring these to the pop-up. And then these Parasuco jeans are an example of a piece that like, this is one of the first pieces I ever thrifted, especially one of the first low-rise jeans I thrifted, and I wore them all the time. I love the raw edge on the top and bottom, but they just don't fit me anymore in the way that they used to. They're not as flared, um, and they're just, like, not for me. This is a really nostalgic piece, though, as well. I don't know, like, do I want to part with these? Like, these feel like me. I get so connected to all my clothes because I wear them so much. Okay, this is kind of sad because I love these capris. I just posted an Instagram photo in them, but they're so uncomfortable because they don't hold their shape. I think they're just linen, so they become really loose, but like you put them on and they feel really great and secure. As you wear them, they just get so loose and it's very uncomfortable for me which really, really, really sucks actually because like they're so cute. Even down to this buckle here that covers the zipper, it's very seamless. But I think I have to sell these. Like I don't even have a choice. I don't want to, but it's like, again, what is the point of having this in my wardrobe if I never wear it, you know what I mean? That's a maybe because I really like those. I'm gonna say the same thing about all these jeans because they're all in my closet because they don't really fit me. Like these Levi's slouch jeans were my entire identity for two years. I wore these every day. Looking at these again is inspiring me to distress some of the jeans I have that do fit me. I feel like I have to choose between these and the Parasuco jeans to keep as a symbolic item. And I would choose these because I actually wore these every day. These were my first, oh my God, all of these jeans. These actually still fit me, I'm keeping these. My True Religion jeans I'm keeping. I have these Rockawear sweatpants, which we're keeping. These silver men's jeans I bought, I've only wore them a couple times and I actually don't even care for them. This was like a mistake. I'm not keeping these. These are gonna go to the pop-up. Oh my God. I'm actually acting a fool right now. <laughs> like I'm acting like I don't know I have these clothes, but these bitch, like I take it back. These are the jeans that are me. And I'm never getting rid of these. I don't even care. I would wear these and people would try and buy them off of me or DM me or message me on TikTok being like, are you selling those? And I'm like, no, I'm never selling those. Okay, these Carhartt pants, ugh, I don't know. These blue Adidas pants, I'm selling. They are high-waisted and I have not worn them since pre-COVID. So I'm not even thinking about it. Like. Those are leaving. These two, like, these are cool. I got them before COVID. These tan and black. Are they rock? Or, oh, they're Exco wear. Okay, never mind. I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of those. These Aritzia sweats are too tight for me. Selling, I literally wore those every single day of COVID. I thrifted this skirt, but I just don't think the fit is what I'm looking for. I wanted to try this skirt on just to see if I was remembering it correctly, and I definitely am it kind of bunches up here and then I don't know it's just awkward with this band so I'm gonna add this to the pop-up pile these tan pants are really nothing special they kind of are nice for summer I'm not gonna get rid of them okay I honestly think I need to take a minute I'm just gonna put all the things that I'm gonna be selling out of my room so that I'm not looking at this because it's too overwhelming and I can't continue pulling things out until this is not what I'm looking at.
New watch, no diamonds, new watch, good timing, yeah. Need no middleman, I'm the man of man, send it in. I like what I like. I, I don't want to say I'm running out of steam because I'm not, but I'm not in the mood to... Like, I don't want to put anything back in my closet until I've cleared out everything that I'm not keeping. So as much as I feel like it's not a good idea to leave my room in this state and move on to my dresser, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I've basically put everything that I pulled for the pop-up outside of my room. So we're going to move on to my dresser now. I'm going to move the camera. So this is my top drawer, you know? This is why I'm scared to get dressed because I just grab whatever's right here. I used to wear this tank top all the time, but it's now uncomfortable for me and I don't like the color, so I never wear it, not keeping. Most of the things at the front here I'm still wearing. I definitely think that I can get rid of this DKNY gray t-shirt not a great fit on me. I wear this denim top all the time, to be honest. I just thrifted this in Florida. This red like shapewear tank top has been my everyday with my Avisu jeans. Oh, this for sure, actually. This Tommy Hilfiger t-shirt. The goal is that after clearing out some of that stuff in my closet, I'll be able to put some of the shirts in there. I don't want to get rid of this because I haven't worn it and I feel like there potentially could be a moment but the fit of it is the same as that green sweater where it kind of comes down and it's like sharp. Like it's just not that comfortable. So I don't know. I'm going to put it in the pop-up pile and if it sells, then great. Like it's not that serious. This white sweater, I definitely have worn a few times. And then the recent time is that I've tried wearing it. It's just not felt. I don't know. I feel like I'm overusing the word comfortable, but like I'm being that serious. Like it just wasn't comfortable. I think I can get rid of this. I used to layer this under my distressed sweater. I think most of these I'm still going to keep. I kind of did go through this recently. So a lot of the tops that I'm getting rid of are in the other room. Pant wise, this is the drawer that's breaking. Okay. This red skirt does not fit me. And this is really short. It's just too big for me. So I think I'm going to sell this. I have worn it. I think that's actually it. I thought there'd be more in these drawers, but there kind of isn't as of now. I think I'm going to take everything off of the top shelf because there's definitely some things up there that even though I'm keeping, I don't need up there. Like they can be relocated. Oh my God. Yeah. Like there's hats back here that I didn't even know I had. This is just a little bit overwhelming because... I have to actually do something with all of this stuff on my bed now. Like I totally forgot I had this hat. You know, I have some rude sweatpants up here that I haven't worn in so long and now is really time to get rid of them. So we're gonna do that. Okay, I have three pairs of root sweatpants that I'm gonna get rid of. I haven't worn any of these in over a year um, for obvious reasons. I think I kept these because I painted in them or something and they were like good pants to have for painting, but how often am I painting? I have two white crewnecks. This one from Aritzia, which I wear all the time and it's pristine. That one's newer. This one I got from Roots and I think I thrifted it, but it has a lot of stains on it. I put it on the other day cause that one was dirty. Um, so I'm going to keep one and it's going to be the Aritzia one. It sucks. I would honestly want both, but since it's stained, I'm not going to keep it. New watch, no diamonds, new watch, good timing, yeah. Need no middleman, I'm the man of man, send it in. I like what I like, me, I know my rights, it's sipping in. I like having fun, I do what I want, it's what it is. For my son and son, for my daughters, yeah, it's for my twin. I work through the night, I do what I like, get a check, I go for the ride. I've been down the ride, for the wins, to move on. Okay, I can't even lie, I was not planning on doing that. This is the current state of my room okay so this is everything that I'm keeping but was on my little rack here in my closet so I'm basically just gonna go through and you know just like double check that I'm keeping everything and then start hanging things up in an order that makes sense only race is the human, I take care of my skin. I was doing this as a rookie, now I'm up to vet. Set the, set the trend, set the pace of play. I don't trip, but if I fall, bet I make a way. 
I take trips in the fall, watch the least change. I like to treat every day like it's my B day. New watch, no diamonds, new watch, good timing, yeah. New watch, no diamonds, new watch, good timing. So far, I'm doing short sleeves and then track jackets going into hoodies. I think I'll do my crew necks before hoodies because. It's more similar to a track jacket, and I also reach for my crinex a lot. Already looking at my closet, I feel way more inspired by this. Like, it was so, so disorganized on here. I've taken a minute away from you guys to kind of like plan my organization. These are all of my sweaters, and I think I'm going to put these on the top of my closet because I'm not really wearing them at the the moment like this entire season I'm not gonna be wearing them and I'm also gonna be gone for the whole summer and I'm not really gonna pack any of these so I'm gonna put them all on that shelf already my relationship with my closet has changed like this makes me want to choose out something to wear I have so many track jackets it's actually embarrassing and then I have my sweaters up here obviously not everything is put back on this rack but I'm just doing it in sections and this is like the first section of things I love I just vacuumed the bottom of my closet and cleared out mostly everything. This is just schoolwork that I'm gonna keep in here. And then this bag is bikinis and then that's like extra socks and stuff. This is gonna be where I keep all of my yoga pants, track pants, sweatpants that I don't grab for all the time because my other ones are just in my dresser. The ones that I wear less are on the bottom. I am honestly in shock by how many things I'm getting rid of. I don't know if you can understand how many things this actually is. The laundry bin is full, obviously, and then everything on top there's like, oh my God, are you kidding me? The goes like, I don't know. But all of this just has to go. Like there's nothing I can do about it, even though it's so sad. Like not the Exco pants, you know, but like they're just done. I don't need them anymore. It's like genuinely hard for me to fathom this right now, but I'm so happy. These are all the things that always made it back into the closet after the closet clean out that I just don't need. They're finally going i feel like it's different when you thrift because like i worked for these clothes you know what i mean like these pair of suko pants like i can't just go buy and replace these like once they're gone okay i have to stop because otherwise i'm like not gonna get rid of this first of all it just feels less heavy in my room right now like i am in disbelief so i've hung up my hoodies these are mostly hoodies for comfort and then I've hung up all my actual hoodies that I would wear as an outfit on this rack here. And as I've been putting the things I'm keeping away, I've been finding it really easy to just make peace with parting with the things I don't need. Like, do I want to add this into my beautiful closet that is already full enough? Like, not really. My pile of stuff I'm getting rid of is like concerningly big. Like, I think I'm going to be falling asleep tonight being like, that's a lot of me that I'm getting rid of, you know? Like, those are my clothing pieces. Like, this is honestly an emotional journey right now. I pulled a lot more <laughs> that I'm gonna get rid of. I thrifted this so long ago. I've worn it twice. I'm like, why am I gonna hang this up in my closet again? Like, I'm not wearing it. And then the New York sweater. I just don't need this, you know? Like, I don't need this one or the Stussy one. So if both of them sell, then that's great. This belt I thrifted recently, but unfortunately it's too small for me. Out of the jeans that I was like emotionally connected to, I put the Trilogians back in my closet because I do sometimes wear them. But these ones from Request and these Levi's, I'm gonna put in my Depop closet to keep, but not necessarily wear at the moment. I have this skirt that matches this lace-up top. It's like a two-piece set because the denim in the fold here is the same as the skirt. So since I'm gonna keep this for a little bit, I'll keep this skirt, but honestly, it's pretty high-waisted and I just don't find myself ever reaching for this outfit. But I'm gonna give it one more season. Once I'm back from Europe, like, I think I'm gonna feel even less attached to the things that I've kept that I just don't wear. Yeah, this is like insanely successful. It's kind of concerning because I'm like, wow, I really, like, I had all of that in my closet, like for what reason, you know? And the fact that I can just close this, like, okay. <laughs> not the bathroom, but like, excuse me, it feels like there's an echo in here now. Like truly I'm like in such disbelief knowing that I'm gonna be selling these pieces at the pop-up and that people will buy them and appreciate them and wear them 
versus them just sitting in my closet is what makes me able to get rid of them because I am so attached to so many of those pieces and I'm like so many of those pieces were the first things I ever thrifted you know so it's like kind of extremely emotional for me but I feel like now I'm really able to evaluate my style the direction that I want to take it the pieces that I actually need and I think I counted that I have 13 track jackets like from here to here is all track jackets like that is insane but it's because I wear a lot of track jackets so whatever I'm like over the moon happy with the result of my closet like truly ah, looking at it is amazing on the top shelf I have all of my knitwear that is finally all folded and not hung up and then beside that I have my kind of larger hoodies and crew necks that I don't really wear but I'm not gonna get rid of and then obviously on the rack here most of it is track jackets as I said and then some of my tops dresses at the back I've kind of put things that I don't really see myself wearing like those juicy t-shirt hooded sweaters that I just can't part with and then on the shelving literally shoe rack that's where I feel like the biggest change is because I got rid of all the things that weren't clothes on there so now I just have my jeans my track pants sweatpants which wow like there's not a lot on there under that I have my running like workout clothes and then I have shoes underneath and then my belts on the ground because I have nowhere to put my belt we're gonna end the video there thank you for coming along on this closet journey I was gonna say it's five 24 now and I basically cleaned from 12 till now so five hours I feel like that was insanely fast for how much I'm getting rid of and how much I organized so I hope this inspires you to do the same for your closet and I will see you in my next video Cause you know the shit I kick Pimp and keep my pocket stick On you funky shady bitches Having you hoes clock on my bitches